Hi, this is Nancy at Bonnie Lake Ben Franklin, and today I'm going to show you how to embellish this peacock from our Solid Oak Steampunk collection and make it into a beautiful piece. What I'm going to use today are going to be alcohol inks and the patina extender and sealer, and I'm also going to use some rhinestones. So what you want to do is you're going to pull it off and this is really easy and fun. You're going to set these down. Got it on our non-stick mat and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the purple twilight. Alcohol ink is a permanent change to any non-porous surface. It will cover metal, glass, or stone. And I am just going to be really casual about this. I'm just going to choose whichever ones I would like to put the color on. Maybe make a little random pattern there. And then I'm going to go in with the next color. I'm going to put a little bit more on that one. And if you make a mistake, you can always um, take it off with the extender and a tissue. Oh, this looks good. Maybe some up here. However you like it to look. Okay, then I'm going to come in with the sailboat blue. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, yeah, it's sailboat blue. I'm going to put that on there. And I'm going to just go on in a random pattern until I get the peacock to look how I want it. I'm also going to flip this peacock over when it's dry and do the back side. Alcohol inks dry very quickly. It should be dry in about 10 minutes. If you're impatient, like I am, feel free to use your hair dryer or heat tool to help it along. Okay, I gotta wait for it to dry. Here's a peacock that I have completed and I want to show you how you can use your rhinestones to embellish it further. I actually sprayed my peacock with a matte sealer instead of the extender and I like the way it gives it kind of a matte brushed look. GS Hypo Cement is the glue I would recommend. It has a super fine tip as you can see. So you can grab your rhinestone, dot it with a bit of the GS Hypo Cement, and then you can place it right on your piece. Sometimes I use tweezers because my nails get in the way. And there you go. You want to make sure you seal it before you put your rhinestones on or your rhinestones may lose their um, sparkle. And here's one up here I can use. Put on. And there you go. And you can see how I've added some feathers with colors on them as well to this necklace and it's a gorgeous way to embellish your pieces. I'm Nancy at Bonnie Lake Ben Franklin. Come and visit me at the bead department.